For this workout, we're gonna do a full body dumbbell workout. So you'll need a set of dumbbells. I would suggest if you have different weights to grab a lighter set and a heavier set, that way you can swap out if you need to, um, cause we're doing quite a few repetitions. So I'll need that in maybe a yoga mat if you have one. And try to get warmed up before we begin. We are only in here for 20 minutes and we need to get right down to it. So make sure you're warmed up before we begin. Maybe 50 jumping jacks, maybe walking up the stairs, walk up and down the stairs a few times and using your arms. Um, anything that's gonna get you warmed up and your arms warmed up. So make sure you're moving your arms around for your warm up as well. Okay, ready? Dumbbells in hand. If you choose to do this workout without dumbbells, that's totally fine as well. Okay, so you're gonna stand up tall. We'll start by stepping the right foot behind you, coming up the ball of your foot, and setting your um, upper body nice and tall. Core is tucked in, tailbone is pressed down to the ground. Just start with the weights at your shoulders. And as you bend down through your knees, you'll inhale, and as you exhale and come up, you'll also press the dumbbells. Now, just making sure that you're not arching through the spine or um, arching through your low back, so keep everything tucked. So inhale down and exhale to press for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. This will be our last one. And then we bring it down, bring down the arms, step your right foot forward, step your left foot back. We'll do the same thing with the arms, just switching legs. So stand up really tall with your upper body, tailbone presses down, core is turned on. Take the weights to your shoulders and bend through both of your knees and with an exhale, bring it on up. So inhale and exhale. For six, five, four, three, two, last one, release your arms, step your foot forward. Good job. Now we're gonna stand widthwise, so I'm gonna stand over here. I'm going to bend your arms. So your arms will be at about a 90 degree angle. So as you step your foot wide, you'll come up and bring it into a side raise. So step and lower, bring it back, exhale and lift. Good, for six, five, and the weight of your body is evenly distributed between those legs. Three, Two, last one. Take your arms, come to the other side of your mat. We'll um, start the movements with your other leg. Ready? So inhale down and exhale to lift. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job, release the weight. Okay, we're gonna bring it back to the top of your mat with one weight this time. So this time we're gonna move our lunge. We'll step back with the right foot, and as you step back with the right foot, you're gonna take the weight parallel to the ground, and as you exhale, you'll bring your knee toward the weight. So you're looking at something that's not moving to help keep your balance. Inhale, step and sink, exhale, lower. For eight, seven, so you want slow, controlled movements here. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job, and we'll switch legs, keep the same weight here. Again, if you decide that the weight is too much, you can get rid of the weight and you just use your arms. Okay, so we'll step back the left foot, step it back, sink it down as you do so, take the weight well off the ground, exhale, and bring it forward. Step and sink. And exhale it forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good work. Take both of your weights, stand at the top of your mat, standing up really tall. And all you're going to do is lift high off of your heels and lower down. Lift and lower. So when you're lifting and lowering, when you come down, don't rest. 
And it's just a lift and a tap, a lift and a tap. If the weights are too much, get rid of the weights. You will feel this even if you aren't weighted. And if you're at a point where you can coordinate your breath, you can exhale up, inhale lower. If that's not working for you, that is okay. Do what you need to do. Just don't hyperventilate. All right, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, nice and high. Seven, six, five, four, don't get too excited, we're not quite done. Next one, we're gonna stay high and pulse it, just little bopping movements for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release and shake it out. Good job. You might feel that one all the way up the back of your legs. Good work. Okay, next we're going to take both of the to the top of your mat. Um, Pay a lot of attention to this one. If you're near a mirror, it would be great to look at yourself sideways in front of the mirror to make sure that your form is on par. All right, getting hot. So you're gonna be thinking about keeping your shoulders back. A light weight is good for this one. Shoulders are back, slight bend in through your knees. From your hip, you'll hinge it forward so you're not hinging from your knees. You're hinging from your hip. And my shoulders will stay back. So I'm not rounding, I'm not rolling. Shoulders stay back. I'm hinging partially. I'm going to take my arms high, see my elbows are nice and lifted, and without moving my upper arms, I'm going to straighten the arm and release. So you notice my elbow is staying where it is, upper arm is not moving. Fully straightening, squeezing, three quads will force a controlled release. So for eight, exhale, six, five, make sure that you're not rounding, keep checking in. Three, two, and last one. Release your arms, stand up, shake it out. Good job. Same type of deal. We'll open up the feet mat with distance apart. Your job is to make sure you're not going to round or do anything funky with your spine or your shoulders. So stand up, shoulders are pulled back. We'll hinge it from the hips just like we did. Dropping all the way down. Um, you always have a slight bend in your knees. Shoulders stay back, I'm not rounding. And I'm going to exhale, stand, and squeeze my butt. So it's an inhale to lower, exhale, stand, and squeeze. The shoulders stay put, they are not moving. I'm not really bending my knees any more or any less, I'm hinging from my hips. This is one of those movements you really, really, really have to watch. So I suggest finding a mirror and looking at yourself. Okay, eight more. So it's an inhale to lower, exhale to lift, and your squeeze does not look like a hip thruster. That's not a glute squeeze, that's a hip thruster. Two very different things. <laughs> Are we at five more? Four? Three? Two? Last one. Good job, you're gonna stand widthwise on your mat, nice wide stance, wider than hip, but distance apart. Hands are in front, palms are facing toward your body. I'm gonna bring it into a low squat, a wide squat. Shoulders are pulled back, so in my squats, I'm not rounding again. With an exhale, as I stand, I'm gonna go elbows high. So inhale to lower, arms and legs. Exhale to lift. Feel free to make any modifications to these exercises. If you know, for example, your shoulder should not be doing this, then just don't do it, right? If maybe you have something going on with your knees and you shouldn't be doing the squats, take up the squats and keep going with the arms. So inhale it down, exhale up. Your elbow should be higher than your wrist all the way up. Let's do six more after this one. So slow and controlled, try to follow my pace. And you probably want to race through it. Don't do it. Four. Three. Two. And last one. 
Good job. We'll pray, place the weights down. You can with your back. Shake it out. Take a second. Grab a drink. Okay, we're going to take the weights and come down onto your mat, onto your back. Put the weights in your hands, palms pointing toward the ceiling. Elbows will be wide so that your triceps are resting on your mat. Knees will be bent, feet or uh, shoulder width distance apart. Keep your low back planted. With an exhale, you'll press the weights up toward the ceiling, straighten out your arms. With an inhale, lower down until your triceps are touching the bed, but not resting, it's not a full rest. Exhale and inhale. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep your low back pressed in. Last one, we'll lower the arms just down. Take one leg up into a tabletop position so your shins parallel to the ground. Take your other leg up into a tabletop position. Think about squeezing your belly button in toward your spine as you continue on with the exact same movement. So press and lower. Press and lower. You should feel maybe a little bit more engagement through your core with your legs lifted. For five, four, three, two, last one. Release your arms down. You can get rid of one weight carefully. Point your foot, one at the feet, one at a time. We'll take this weight up above, holding both ends um, very well. So you want to make sure you're not going to drop your weight. This one makes it easy because I've got little circles, but hold on tight. Low back's pressing. So your arms, if you look at them, they're um, stacked. Your wrists are above your elbows, which are above your shoulders. We're going to take the arms slightly behind, so they're not totally stacked now. And then keeping your upper arm as it is, if you watch me, when I bend my elbow, my upper arm stays and dropping that weight toward my forehead. And as I exhale, I'm going to strain. Again, my upper arms are not moving. I'm just hinging from my elbows. So this is what you'll do, okay? Inhale to lower, exhale to lift, and make sure you're pressing your low back into the ground, engaging through your core. For eight, and you really want to straighten up those arms, Seven, look at your upper arms. Make sure they're not moving. Your elbows should stack, be stacked above your shoulders and not changing. Five, four, three, two, and last one. You're going to take that right to your pelvis. Hold on just with your thumbs. Don't death grip it. Make sure your feet are hip-width distance apart, knees are hip-width distance apart. And with an exhale, you'll press your heels into your mat, lift your hips up nice and high, squeeze through your glutes. Inhale, release, and tap your hips without resting. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, to release. So we'll go for 10 more. Again, slow control movement. And have a peek at your knees. Make sure they're not opening and closing, they're staying just as they are. And let's see if you can lift your toes off the ground and keep them off for the last five. Four, three, two, and the last one. We'll lower down, grab the weight with your arms, and bring it up toward the ceiling again. Again, stack your wrists above your elbows, above your shoulders. Take one leg up in the tabletop position, your other leg up in the tabletop position, your low back stays planted into your mat. And thinking about squeezing your belly button into your spine, you're going to think about lifting the center of your chest up toward the ceiling and a release. Exhale to lift and inhale to release. Anytime the weight is too much, just let go of the weight and continue on with the movements. For five, four, Two, one more, and then I'm going to give you a challenge. Okay, you release that, release your feet. Just want you wipe your knees side to side for a second. And then I'm going to present you with a challenge. See what you've got. If this isn't going to work, you continue on with the crunches that we just did. Otherwise, let's straighten up the legs. Take the weight up, stack it accordingly. If you know your shoulder ability, uh, mobility will allow, and you have no shoulder injuries. You're going to take the weight up, see if you can tap it on the ground, try to keep your low back planted, 
And as you exhale, lift the weight and try to peel your back off of the ground, starting from your upper back, mid back, and lower back. Reach for your toes. Think about rounding through your spine before you slowly and controlled come back down and take the weight back up over. So it's slow, controlled movements. So again, if this isn't going to be working for you, you can continue on with the crunches, or you can just do the up overhead raises that we're doing down at the bottom here. Don't race through this. If you have to really hop to get up, this isn't for you. Okay, we'll do a few more after this. Make sure you're still feeling controlled in all of your movements. Okay, two more after this one. Good job. Feeling your core engaged as you come up and go down with control. This will be our last one. And with control, we'll roll this last one down. And then take your knees up. So your feet are planted. And now we'll just go through with the top motion here that we were going with. So slight bend into your elbows. We'll take the weight up overhead. Keep your low back planted. And exhale, take the weight up. Let the legs in the tabletop position. The weight only has to hover above your chest. So slight bend into your elbow, reaching up and over, tap or go where you can, and hover above your chest. Feel your core turn on when you're back here, when you're ready to lift. Your core helps you lift. Okay, we've got six more to do. So it's an exhale to lift, and an inhale to come on up. What do we have? Four. Never trust my counting. Three. Notice your arms, switch which arm is on top. That might feel weird. You can really 
release your arms. Take one foot above your other knee. So we'll take the right foot. Let's start with the right foot above your left knee and drop your legs over to the left hand side. You want that top foot plant. And as you do so, take your left arm across your chest and tuck it in tight with your right hand. Hopefully you know your right to your left. Otherwise that would be very confusing. Okay, bring it up to center, uncross the legs, we'll take the right, I'm sorry, just take the left foot just above your right knee, drop over to the right hand side, and your right arm comes across your body, tuck it in with your left. You can take your arm across, uncross your legs, and then one more time, windshield wipe your knees side to side. And we'll take one knee at a time and toward the chest, wrap your arms around them, tuck it in tight, and rock it side to side. You can release your left leg long, and release your right leg long. And with a great big inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and you point through your toes for a full body stretch. And exhale to release. And take your time getting up. I appreciate you joining me. You did a great job. Namaste.